This week, we celebrate bankruptcy judge David Jones of Houston. He is a very smart man and also someone who is willing to take a risk in developing the law in a direction in which it ought to go. And that's exactly what he did with regard to the so-called payroll protection program that is part of the CARES Act that Congress enacted at the end of March to alleviate some of the financial suffering resulting from the shutdown of businesses as a result of the coronavirus. The payroll protection program allows smaller companies to obtain loans to pay, obviously, payroll and some other expenses. Although denominated as loans, the company is actually never required to repay the money it gets from the SBA. Although the act itself said nothing about bankrupt companies, the SBA issued its loan application forms in which it said that if you're in bankruptcy, your loan will be denied. So, in a case in uh, Corpus Christi, Texas, involving an emergency medical uh, services transportation provider, that company filed a motion a couple of weeks ago, actually perhaps a little bit less, together with a verified complaint asking Judge Jones to temporarily enjoin and ultimately permanently enjoin the SBA from excluding bankrupt companies from the payroll protection loan program. And guess what? That is exactly what Judge Jones did. He held a hearing and at the end of the hearing issued his opinion from the bench followed by a temporary restraining order in which he said in substance that the SBA cannot require borrowers to state whether or not they are in bankruptcy and furthermore must consider the loan applications without taking into account whether or not that debtor is in bankruptcy. This is obviously a very important decision because if it is adopted around the country, or for that matter, if the, F, if the uh, SBA changes its mind, it is going to help a lot of companies that either now or soon will be in bankruptcy as a result of the coronavirus shutdown. I am Bill Rochelle, the Editor-at-Large for American Bankruptcy Institute. You can read about this opinion by Judge Jones in my column on ABI's website. Otherwise, we will be back same time next week for something else important that has taken place in the bankruptcy community. Until then, stay home, be well, communicate with your family, and try to have as much fun as you can under these terrible circumstances. Good day.